This episode is brought to you by Bancos Capital, your home, your money. So welcome, hey everybody. We're going to be talking about a topic that is very hot today, especially nowadays moving with today's times. We're talking about Airbnb, how to make some money with Airbnb. Yeah. Ben, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> yeah. Our show, we're talking about things that make you money in the long run yeah. without little effort. Well, depends on it's like a business right right but l let me ask you have you stayed in an airbnb like is this something yeah. that you like about it i love it because you go in you don't have to worry about cleaning the place you don't have to worry about being dirty when you get there right it's super nice you look at the reviews and you pretty much know you're going to a secure place i think people overall like when you're uh, the thought initially i mean mm -hmm. I, re I remember the first time i used airbnb was in puerto rico okay and just the thought of staying in somebody's place was weird right, right? like i don't know this person i'm flying all the way to puerto rico yeah. and i'm going to stay in someone's place but nowadays it's become commonplace right there's mm -hmm. so many places available and so many cool locations all over the world, all right? over the world. And there's now uh, this phenomenon, right? People are on their phones and where are we going? We're going to Disneyland. We're going to go to Chicago. We're going right. to go to Miami. And now other than looking at hotels, people look, where am I going to stay? Mm -hmm. Airbnb. There's a group of four of us. Right. We want to stay somewhere where we can go and buy the food and be able to customize. Like, you know, we all going to have our... A uh, place to sleep in. It's mm -hmm. a family. We it's can, a common uh, place. We feel comfortable. There's a TV. It's a home. We can watch Netflix. It's right. that bringing that home aspect to the experience right. while you're away from home. Mm -hmm. And so that works to our favor in California. Right. Because so many people come to California from other parts of the country and other parts of the world. So and, and specifically with Airbnb in this episode, we're going to be referring to it as a money maker. And a simple money maker that if you're in the real estate business, how you can multiply your money every month in an easy way and make the payment and still get some extra cash. I mean, it's unbelievable because yeah. you don't realize it until you actually get the, the business off the ground. Yeah. So the idea is you want to look at a property. Mm -hmm that is going to be in a, in a zone where there's lots of tourism opportunity, like right. Disneyland. If we talk about Disneyland, uh, you know, it's kind of, uh, apparently it's illegal to have an Airbnb in Anaheim. Right. Because Disneyland, you know, has Anaheim. Right, with yeah. the hotel business. But right. all the cities mm -hmm. surrounding Anaheim, like Lakewood, mm -hmm. like Long Beach, like Cerritos, like right. Cypress, Santa Ana, uh, Garden Grove, mm -hmm. all these places are candidates and you're not terribly far away from Disneyland mm -hmm. and you can offer to families that are coming from all over the world that are ready to spend their money. You actually get a yeah. chance to kind of take that money away from the hotels. In right. other words, you as a homeowner operate a business if you make it attractive mm -hmm. and you love that you have this gift of hospitality right. and you love to, you know, make people feel welcome. Mm -hmm people look for this they're right. coming from you know italy they're coming from brazil they're coming from mexico you know Everywhere. people coming from mexico love to come to disneyland and they'll stay for three four five mm -hmm. days oh yeah and so having a place that's safe mm -hmm. where they can you know have their belongings safe but it's convenient and it's fun because the kids can watch netflix and there's a barbecue right. and you know we can also order pizzas and it's going to give us that family you know you might have two three families traveling in a wola right. right and they want that place where there's you know six beds mm -hmm. everyone can crash out in the location and it's convenient that's your customer that's coming in and ready to pay you anywhere from 150 to 300 bucks a night. There's Airbnbs that are charging even 400 bucks a night. But it, and that all depends on the reviews, right? As you get along with the game, you basically start developing that reputation. And obviously, you get better and better at it as you go through you, it. You get better and better at it. It's all about the reviews. Right. It's all about understanding that your reviews matter. So you want to do things that when they come in, you make it convenient. Like, what are things that you want you want a wi-fi that works mm -hmm. you want instructions mm -hmm. you want to include recommendations for the best pizza right. what you know i want recommendations for the best chinese food in the washer area. and dryer just all those things yeah. you mm -hmm. want that to, to be included so a lot right. of operators have like manuals that they include yeah. now we're looking at the real estate side right right we're looking at how can we make money in mm -hmm. other words, if I buy a property and I buy a property in, let's say, Long Beach. Right. And it's got, you know, three bedrooms, two baths, 
and I can put that on the market. There's, I was showing you earlier, mm-hmm. there's listings that are charging anywhere from 150 to 250 a night. Right. And the beauty is that you collect the fee, plus there's a cleaning fee that you can actually charge. It adds up, right? It adds up because typically um, someone, they are aware, mm-hmm. hey, I'm, this is my charge per night, and then mm-hmm. here's the, in, in the fee, they agree to it. But typically what they like is, hey, for 500 bucks uh, for the trip, I have a place for the entire family. We can show up. There's parking. But you, for three nights, if you can get, Mm -hmm. like I said, I was showing you about $150 a night in revenue. Why not? uh, Why not? And that's the difference between a short-term rental and a long-term where you sign a six-month or a one-year lease with a tenant. You know, they're bringing. You're set on that price. You're set on that price, Mm -hmm. but you know what happens when the weather is nice and it's summertime, and you can maybe bump up the prices to two hundred bucks a night instead of one fifty, and then people pay it. Why? Because they're coming to California, and your location is not far from the beach. It's close to Disneyland, and so then all of a sudden Mm -hmm. you have people coming in from out of town, from Tennessee, from Pennsylvania, from Germany, from France. I mean, we have guests that literally show up from Portugal, from France, uh-huh. and a lot of professional uh-huh. clients. They're here for conferences. And they so that's, come in and out. Right. So when you're looking for a property, finding a property that's by a tourist attraction yeah. like Disneyland, like Legoland, mm-hmm. right? Like SeaWorld. Yeah. Uh, Universal those Studios not, Convention Centers. Not spe- convention Centers. Yeah. So having a place that's close to like the Anaheim Convention Center, yeah. the Orange, Ca- the uh, Long Beach Convention Center, mm-hmm. San Diego Convention Center. Oh, I yeah. mean, these are literally every week there's conventions and then you have businesses that are sending their personnel for the convention on the company card. And so they, go for it. They are Spend just, it. They, they, and a lot of times... It's groups of two or three mm-hmm. from a company that are going to a convention. Right. And the two or three, instead of staying in three individual hotel rooms, they'd rather stay in one place with three bedrooms. And they feel good at the and end of the day they have a beer. It's a, it's a business mm-hmm. aspect, you know, mm-hmm. you have team building. It's, right. you know, people working together on the project, they're getting a rental, but you're getting the revenue. And right. it's an opportunity for you as a homeowner and an investor to take that business away from the hotels because you get that, you service right. that customer. So when we look at this, this is what something I get excited about. No, no, I can tell because it, it is, it sounds really, really easy to do. It is a process, but obviously with your company, you teach people how to make it happen, we, right? We work with people mm-hmm. in kind of giving them that, those step-by-step. Step. Obviously, mm-hmm. what you want is to have a property. First and you, or foremost. Right, and not every property is a fit for air. Airbnb. Right. You can't just be somewhere in, you know, I don't know, Highland, California. Or, <laughs> yeah. You you want to be, yeah. like I said, you want to have a property that's relatively driving distance. Because mm-hmm. how would you feel if you're flying in from an out of state to go to Disneyland for four days in a row and you're staying in like Fontana? Oh, no. You're dealing with the traffic of the yeah. 91 and the and 10. And the review they're going to give you is yeah, not going to work out. So yeah, it's going to cancel itself. This person was marketing a Disneyland yeah. home <laughs> and I didn't know because I'm coming in from North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. And when I got there, you know, it was like an hour and a half traffic in the morning yeah. just to get to Disneyland. And you're not going to have a customer that's very happy about yeah. that so you want to be smart you got to understand mm-hmm. those reviews are important because when mm-hmm. someone else is reading the review they're gonna be, they may want to come for disneyland and when they see hey i did not know that it was going to be two hours of traffic in yeah. the mornings just to get to disneyland you know <laughs> yeah. please stay away from this location right. well that person just messed up your business and, and it's done but at the end of the day what, what we're trying to do here is get you to think like an entrepreneur yeah get you to think that in today's times there's no shame in being able to have passive income from other sources. And Airbnb is a great service that is basically here to stay. I don't see it going away. It, it's it's now there are no, there are more Airbnb listings worldwide than hotel listings. I was actually thinking about my next vacation, and I'm like, where am I gonna go? So I love Hawaii. I went there one time. They paid for my trip for a business trip that I was doing. Yeah, and I loved it. Right. But then I saw the prices and I said, man, I cannot afford a hotel this price range. So that's when I started digging into the Airbnb business. And I've seen some beautiful properties like condos that are like literally away, like 10 miles away from the destinations that I want to go to. Right. For 70 to to $100. And I said, 
that is affordable. That's affordable. I mean, and people are looking for that. And there's two types, right? Mm-hmm. There's the people that are like the a little bit uncomfortable. Like mm-hmm. I have two rooms available, yeah. and I I'm gonna rent them out for forty bucks a night. Hey, right. you know, if you're comfortable having someone, you know, Come stay. In, with, yeah. But the the real money maker is yeah. where people feel comfortable and they take over the home, they take right. over the condo, they take over the apartment. It's theirs. And that is what I think has made Airbnb mm-hmm. kind of like what happened with Uber and Lyft, mm-hmm. where there was a traditional way of transportation. You right. could buy the shuttle, you could b- call a taxi. These guys are disrupting the industry. And so now. You have this like price point mm-hmm. that's a little bit more affordable. Mm-hmm. That's a fit for you, and so this trip that you're talking about going to Hawaii, mm-hmm. you know, you may say, you know, ninety dollars all in with yeah. taxes and everything. That's more affordable than a ninety dollar hotel room rate. Mm-hmm. That then they add the taxes, they add the re- the resort fee, right? And then you're at about a hundred and sixty a night. Plus so, the food that you're gonna buy at the hotel. Exactly. Here, Here you, you can actually go to yeah. a, a store, mm-hmm. you buy your food, and you can make it. You yeah. can have pizza. You can, you know, you're bringing kind of like your home, uh, to like another what, location. To another location. Then you have Netflix. You'll have yeah. internet. You know, there's it's it's that type of a service. Now, right. how do we make money, right? right? How do you make money? Mm-hmm. So you look for a location where you want to buy a property that's going to be within proximity to these locations, right? So let's say we're talking about Disneyland Mm -hmm. and you're looking at a property in Long Beach and you make the decision. Okay. I have a property. I live in the West side. I live somewhere in like, let's say we're talking about uh, Downey, Mm -hmm. right? You have equity most likely if you bought in the last three to five years money you're sitting on about 200 plus thousand Mm dollars okay now the beauty now is the cost of money is so it's so cheap you know they just lower the interest right sub four percent so what happens the cost of your money is being able to take that money and invest in an opportunity whether it's a a home whether Mm -hmm. it's a two unit like a duplex right you can take that money and then you you invest in that type of a property in let's say Long Beach, right? right? And you fix it up, you get it all set up, Beautiful. you put some cool furniture, mm-hmm. you set it up like, man, I'm setting this up to make it attractive for people coming in from out of state, from out of town, I'm gonna provide instructions and we can kind of coach you on all that right, stuff, right. right? But the beauty is if you have a chance and let's say your payment <laughs> is gonna be in the twenty five hundred to three thousand dollar range, right? Mm-hmm. Let's just say it's three thousand dollars a month. The beauty is being able to generate the income through an Airbnb that allows you, even if you rent the place and you get fifteen to twenty nights mm-hmm. a month, not every night of the of the, of the right. month, uh, you you end up going from having a place that like is empty and you're sitting here trying to figure out, I'm gonna find a renter. Right. Right. And am I gonna find the right person to be there for a long-term rental? Then I'm gonna be dealing with, what if they come out to have some issues? What if they fall behind? And this is more like, you know what, quick money, but it's quick fix money because you're not actually kind of like putting yourself in a predicament where people are gonna be abusing of your property. Right, What and the interesting thing mm-hmm. about it is that Airbnb protects you. Mm. So they kind of like an insurance. They have like kind of like that umbrella. There's there's an insurance. Uh And so you as a host, you have that protection that if there's an issue, there's usually coverage involved. And you, you know, you go through the process of reporting and they try to resolve it with the person that was staying over or whatnot. But usually they're very protective of the hosts. Okay. And that's always a plus. But going back to the, the purchase of the real estate, if your payment is, let's say, $3,000 $3,000 on the investment property. You put 10% down on this property and you got your payment and it's $3,000 a month. Well, the beauty is that the income that you generate typically is going to be at least two to three times what you would get if you were just renting it old school. So like the if you're renting, yeah, yeah, if you're renting it and you're saying, okay, I'm renting this place for $1,800. <laughs> Oh, out of my pocket, I have to put a little bit more. Exactly. But I'm having my property. I'm going to keep it. Yeah, but here... <laughs> If you have a chance to generate $3,500, right? okay, and you can generate $3,500, what are you able to do? You're able to make that mortgage payment, mm-hmm. cover all your taxes, right? Everything. If you have $500 a month left over, that $500 is working for you. That's an extra $6,000 technically that you're going to mm-hmm. be getting every year. And what's happening is fast forward 10 years. 
You think that home's going to be worth less than when you bought oh, it? Oh, no. You're going you're gonna to be having a property that's worth $100,000, $200,000 more? Yeah. Okay. Let's assume 200000 in 10 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have five of those deals, okay, you're, you're sitting on a million dollars of yeah. equity. And One, it's paying for itself, right? It paid for itself because the business paid for it. Mm -hmm. So you own the business yeah. and the property. You're and, the landlord for your own business. And the benefit also is that, like you said, if you make $6,000 as income, passive income, right. you have the option of keeping it, spending it, going on a vacation, or putting it back into a property and paying off your mortgage even in a sooner manner, you can, right? I mean, literally paying an yeah. extra $500 a month, you can mm -hmm. cut off almost 10 years of interest on your mortgage. Imagine. But the beauty is this. Mm -hmm. The beauty is being able to always look at stacking. Just like when we played Monopoly, yeah. right? Yeah. You're, you're using the bank. Yeah. That's what's amazing. A lot of people don't realize that you use capital that's available from the bank. And you apply it towards income properties. It's working and for you. It's working for you. So that's where Airbnb is an amazing yeah. avenue because you're marketing mm -hmm. to tourists, to professionals that are coming to California. They right. want to get away. It's 35 degrees in Boston. Let's go to California. 72. It's, yeah. It's like yeah. we're sitting here in December mm -hmm. having, you know, terrible weather at 62 degrees right. and complaining <laughs> where, you know, you have snowbirds that are coming in from out of town where it's 40 degrees. Or four. And, they and they're thankful that there is a place that it's 62 degrees and sunny right. like California and they can go and be close to the beach. They have, they're here for a two day conference. And you're giving people that opportunity to have a place that's, you know, comfortable, that right. you're, they're able to feel that hospitality and you're using that income mm -hmm. to pay for the mortgage and have it generate, you know, long term wealth for you and your family. You're creating a portfolio of properties at the same time with this business It's like learning from the past people that have made money in the long run the Trumps and I'm not getting into politics, but just families that have made money in real estate. Yes. It's because they started in a game at one point. The point here is to start off now. Yeah. You have that equity. Why not pull it out and build it for future generations for yourself when you have a retirement, when you say, you know what, I'm not going to depend on social security. Um, this morning I was driving by the gym where I go. I did my workout and as I was leaving right next to it, there's a social security office. And it broke my heart to see people kind of just walk in there like begging for their money. Right. But that's their only source of income. Why? Because they didn't prepare themselves. It's, it's amazing. Like mm -hmm. in 10 years, okay, mm -hmm. nobody knows where they're going to be in terms of like career wise, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Job wise. Yeah. Uh, things happen, you know, accidents, mm -hmm. sickness. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing we always know as we're getting older is yeah. you got to be honest and real with the fact that life is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And as you know, you every, every, every day that you have 10,000 people on the baby boomer side that are turning 65 in this country, every day, every day, 10,000 people every Man. day are turning 65 and 10,000 people every day are also turning 85 years old. So what's happening is you have older set, the older, you know, one of the things that mm -hmm. I guess insurance companies found out is that the baby boomers are living a lot longer <laughs> yeah. than, you know, they originally expected. And that's right. because of medical attention. People are taking care of themselves mm -hmm. and whatnot. But the opportunity in real estate is always there where you can take that home equity that you have, yeah. apply it, and then be smart. How am I going to make money? It's not just about going, finding a deal. Right fixing up the house, flipping it and trying to, you know, walk out with forty, fifty thousand dollars profit. Right. I mean, so many people are doing that now. Yeah. The opportunity right now is being able to think long term because long term is when the properties work for you. Right. You're getting cheap money from the bank and you're making all this money from a business like Airbnb. And, and like you said it's something constant because now, especially that travel has also gotten down, right. people can travel anywhere for such low prices that it's affordable. And people are traveling. Like, for instance, I went to Disneyland not that long ago, and I saw people from Mexico. I saw people from Spain. Yeah. Like, people that you would never, like, think in the past, like, they would be able to travel. Right. It's so affordable that, in that sense, you can also take advantage of that and realize that it's not just one ethnic group that's going to be coming into town. If not, it's being international in your mindset as and, well. And I think that when you think ahead, what person 
in seven to 10 years wouldn't want to have, you know, five different streams of income covering every, every, let's say you average 500 bucks a month Mm -hmm. between 500 and a thousand. You have good months, you have lower months, Mm -hmm. but if you had basically an extra $500 a month and you have five properties, it's $2,500. And that's income that you're making Mm -hmm. on top of paying you know, the mortgage on top of paying all your expenses, that's income that five properties. And like I said, in 10 years, when those properties go up in value and you have 200, 200, 200 times five, that's a million dollars of equity. And not counting the fact that if you use that money to put it back, you might even have more equity because your property is already halfway paid through. So if even if you wanted to get rid of it in the future, instead of having two, you have three, everyone, four. Everyone looks at like, yeah. what's my retirement? Like mm-hmm. what some people don't even like, they're so busy. They're working mm-hmm. two, three jobs and like working is key, right? right? But also working smart. Like there's ways to keep working and also having your money work for you. Work smarter, not harder. Right. right? So when you work, in this way where you're working, you have your job, mm-hmm. construction, you're fixing cars, you're in, you know, Retail. the ser- you're in the mm-hmm. service business. Mm-hmm. You have your job. If you're married, if you're single, you mm-hmm. have your income. Mm-hmm. This isn't about like leaving that and, you know, all of a sudden you're going to do this full time. Mm-hmm. Some people do. Mm-hmm. But the beauty is that you have that flexibility. If you have properties working for you, you know all of them are going to go up in value. Mm-hmm. If you have a business like Airbnb that generates that income for you, these are people that are choosing to, you know, stay at your location as if they were staying in a hotel. You're taking that money away from the Holiday Inn, away from Marriott, away from the big chains because your price point is more accessible and you have now multiple streams of income. And if something happens, you are... um, Let's say you're dismissed from your job Mm -hmm. or you decide you're no longer going to work this job because you're tired of the commute. You're you're tired of driving two hours. So you're going to decide to pursue another opportunity that's closer. You have that flexibility to know, hey, these next two, three months, I was saving this amount of money. It's here. here, And now I can transition to another job, but I still have these properties. So that's the idea is being able to use Airbnb. I think one of the best things to do is, you know, if you got money, refinance, yeah. take the money out. It's never been cheaper. Mm-hmm. Be able to use that money to help you build wealth using a business like Airbnb. And Airbnb, like you said, taking out the money at a low interest rate, it's a benefit. There's other people that, for instance, um, in my case, this is what I did. And you helped me through the whole process. I took out the money. I refined my, my loan. And the money that I took out, the extra money, I put it back into building a small house in the back of my house because i had the space okay i did it fairly cheap right and now that little house that i don't even have to worry about people come in through the airbnb business through the side right my house is in the front and that money is still being generated it's paying for the loan and i have that thing forever and ever and ever going if i ever want to move out of my house I built another little house behind it. So that's another option, but I'm utilizing the Airbnb model to suffice that income. And in the long run, that money that I pulled out at a low interest rate with Airbnb combined, it's bringing up my value of my property. If I want to turn around and sell it in 10 years, I sold two houses. But in the meantime, I pay for them through Airbnb. Exactly. And I think we're seeing more and more folks that look at opportunities to take if they have a fairly good size home. Mm -hmm. They're basically setting up like home within a home. Right. Like a separate guest quarters Mm -hmm. or casita or the grandmother suite or the mother-in-law suite, whatever you call it. And they make a separate entrance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you set it up so it's got a bedroom, it's got the, the, the restroom and the shower and everything, but it's the entrance is through an outside right. and you have a lockbox or you have a separate entrance. It's connected to the home. Mm-hmm. And so some people like that. Some people like the fact that, you know, it's separate. I'm, I'm coming in. My flight's at like 1130 at night. Yeah. I don't have time. I don't want to meet anybody. I just come in and I stay in my mm-hmm. place. Give me my check-in instructions. I put in my code and then they stay there. You're there. And they like knowing that, you know, there's somebody that's close by. If the TV doesn't work, mm-hmm. if there's a problem with the Wi-Fi, uh, there's a problem with, you know, whatever. When, when I went to uh, Ensenada, I rented a place by the beach. It was a beachfront house. 
and in the back the lady was staying small little apartment yeah and and the middle of the night that happened to me the satellite wasn't working we we're trying to watch a movie that we're looking forward to we brought some beers in we brought some tacos we we're chilling right and i went back there and she's like oh you know what i forgot to t- turn on the the switch on the thing for the house blah blah small little thing she yeah. fixed it great we had a great time oh yeah no it i mean that's what you want right yeah. So a lot of times we always explain, like, do what you want, you know, in the business, set it up to make it welcoming, just like as if you were flying in. If you run a long trip, you want all the things like we always include all the essentials, toiletries, razors, Q-tips, shampoo, lotion, uh, feminine products, you know, all the things that are needed so that when that person comes in, there's water. There's snacks, there's cafecito, there's all the different elements that that guest feels like, man, this person took the time mm-hmm. to set it up. I, I, you know, this is what I needed. I just flew in from Germany. Right. I'm here for my conference. It's going to be tomorrow at one o'clock in the afternoon. I get to sleep in. There's a, a handbook. So we kind of go through the process of just kind of coaching right. and giving like the steps um, to being able to set up the business. But, you know, looking at it, it's important, like, you got to have a good real estate right. play. And a lot of times it's being able to say, this is a great location that I can set up for Airbnb. Mm-hmm. So when people are come, it's close to the convention center. It's close to Disneyland. It's close to an amusement park. It's close to Universal Studios. I can market it and be able to get that customer away from the hotels mm-hmm. and be able to have and have that income mm-hmm. come to me and my family. And, and I like the fact also, like you said, we are paying for low interest and on money that it's yours from your equity. But also, I'm also seeing on the market a lot of for sale signs. So right now the inventory is growing in the homes. So it's a perfect opportunity for you to go in there and buy a place for little money as well. Because yeah. the inventory is going to be huge. Yeah. But the time to act is now. If you have that income, uh, residual income in, your, in the back of your house, do it. Yeah. Do it and use it to, to your advantage. Yeah. So that's... I mean, to me, that's one of the amazing things. Airbnb, I think, is an amazing business opportunity. I really highly recommend it. I mean, it's doing wonders for us in San Diego. We're having tremendous success. You're good. And and we're looking at other markets and then other parts of the country. I mean, with your company, you can facilitate the services for anybody around the country. Right now, yeah, we're we're able to do it typically over voice chat and over video conference. And that usually helps out. There's other folks that are interested. We meet in our travels and then they, you know, oh, we're Airbnb hosts. And then we're able to speak to them and say, hey, this is what we're doing. Oh, you know, I wanted to get into that business can you give me pointers and this and that and typically you know it's it's about just really setting it up and taking care start with one build it up but also understand that if you get a good location you're gonna get the customers the customers are gonna pay you get good reviews the reviews help sell more customers you fill up more nights and then what happens is your mortgage your taxes your costs on that property are paying for themselves and that's and that's the beauty having Mm -hmm. five properties ten properties that are paying for themselves that's the name of the game yeah that's the name of the game so we can help set that up and and for more info do you have a number where people yeah eight seven 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 three zero zero and I'm sure you guys seen it around the video. We we flashed it a few times here and there. Yeah. Just in case you guys want to free advice, we're here for that. It's not like we're trying to grab your uh, attention to get money or anything like that. But more than anything, it's financial awareness on how to become successful in today's times. Yeah. Bancos Capital. Mm-hmm. Bancos Capital. We're here to help you. Thank you so much. And we'll connect in another episode of bringing you ways on how to be successful with money, real estate, and for yourself and for your future. Thank you. Brought to you by Bancos Capital, where we help you lower your monthly house payment. Stop giving away your money to the bank. Save thousands each year. Call them 1-877-777-7300.